Let me tell you something. Your mom was so fat when she stepped on the scale, it says to be continued. <laughs> hey, man, you know, I just had to whack her. But was that right? We're going to talk about it. I know y'all seen the slap that was heard across the world. Hey, was Will Smith right? Was Chris Rock right? We're going to talk about it. Who was right? Maybe no one was right. Hey, stay tuned. Hey, before you do anything, subscribe right now. Subscribe to our channel where you get all the fire. Every week we dropping content. We teaching. You know, our goal is to teach young men and women how to live a world that is life. Subscribe. Share this video with at least three three people. Three, people, three friends. Send it right now. And don't forget to like this video. And stay tuned. And let's see. Because we want to know at the end of the video, who? what's your opinion? If you was in... If you was in Will Smith's situation, what would you have done? I know everyone's seen what happened at the Oscars. You know, it was a phenomenal night. Well, it was, you know, Will was supposed to, well, he, he won his first Oscars, you know, for the movie he did um, for Serena and uh, Venus Williams. Um, uh, the dad, the story of their dad. Um, but that night was overtaken. It is called the slap that was heard all across the world. The reason for that is because everybody started talking about it. Yeah, it happened last week, but we we're covering it now because, you know, because I even did a poll and half my Instagram was split. Some people say Chris Rock um, was wrong. And some people said Will was wrong. So it was really split. So I really wanted to talk about it from not just oh, an emotional perspective, but, you know, from right and wrong. So we'll start. What did, what did you think when you saw that? Like, what, what, what is your take on it? Do you think Will Smith was right for slapping Chris Rock? Like, what was your take on it? He was wrong. He was wrong? Yeah. What, why Why you feel like he was wrong? I mean, Chris Rock a comedian. He knows that too. Yeah. Until you see Jenna be like, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like that joke. Okay. So, what, what, how, how you felt about it? I think. What do you think? Um, in all honesty, but he was wrong. What, what, what made you think he was wrong? <laughs> uh... So, man, okay. I, can say, I can say all a lot because that's like, it's like, why would you do that? And now, regardless, it was the Grammys, right? No, no Oscars, Oscars. it was the Oscars. It was the Oscars, and then on top of it, bro, there's so much people out there. It's like, why are you gonna let your pie get in the way? That made no, that made no sense. Like, <sighs> and then um, on his, on his wife too. There was a video of her laughing at the joke. There was a video of her. No, no, she was not laughing at the No, no, no. She, yeah, she was. She, she was. I promise you. I know. Was behind it. Yeah, there was a recording from my. You see, you see the video? Yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. Okay. When Will, when Chris Rock made a joke, Will was laughing. Yeah. Then when he saw her, his wife face, because his wife made a face of disgust, that's what made him get up because he was... So I don't know what video y'all were talking about where she he was laughing. No, it was like after, like, yeah, after he stopped it and then... Oh, after the slap. Yeah, okay, after yeah. the slap, that means he was no, not he was, still, he was still saying like a G.I. Dan, G.I. Dan, Dan joke. No, after the, after the slap, he, Chris Rock was just basically saying like it was just a joke. He didn't go for it. So any laugh, she, he was, she was not laughing at the joke. Um, She, he was laughing at the joke in the beginning. And then if you pay close attention, um, he was, la Will Smith was laughing a little bit. But then she made a face like, yo, like, what's up with this guy? Now, I don't know if you guys know, but there's history between them. Chris Rock, you know, his wife was boycotting the Oscars, right? Um, I forgot what year it was. She was boycotting the Oscars. Um, when she was boycotting the Oscars, Chris Rock made a joke about her. So now that He's he's the host, and he makes another joke about her. So it was years ago he made a joke about her. Then years later he makes another joke about her, and then this time 
you know, like everybody said, you know, the reason why she's bald is because she's suffering from alopecia. For those who don't know, you know, it's just basically a condition that makes you like lose your hair. Um, so, you know, like, like I said, it, when it comes to like medical conditions and there are some boundaries when it comes to making a joke. But yeah, understanding the history behind like behind Chris Rock and and her, you had to know like okay man like there's a little animosity there, and it's like Will Smith was stuck in between. He's still around. No, we no, we didn't get to that yet because you know she didn't care about. She, she said, well, her words before the before the Oscars, she said she don't care about anybody making fun of her bald head. Like she didn't care about. Any jokes about her bald head and this and that. She didn't really care about none of that. Okay, so that's why I give the story. Um, maybe she didn't care about the joke about her bald head. But they have a history where... Right, I know that. She made a... Like, years before, and I forgot what year yeah, it was. 2016? Yeah, like, when he was when she was boycotting the Oscars, he made a joke about her. And, you know, she didn't really too much like that. So it may not even be the joke about her hair. It's the fact maybe, like, she just don't like him. And Will Smith know the history, so it's like, dang, you you disrespect him. You made a joke on my wife before. Now you're doing it again. Okay, it's not even about oh, you know, she she's sensitive of her bald head. It was more like, okay, I'm gonna do something about this because you you've picked on my wife before. You made jokes on my wife before. So if I don't stop you now, you're gonna continuously do it. So it's not even about oh, she's bald because a lot of people. I heard a lot of different. Um, angles about you know as a comedian are there are there certain jokes you shouldn't make so let's just say you shouldn't make jokes about the person family you shouldn't make jokes about like if they have a medical condition you shouldn't make jokes um, I don't know maybe about their religion but at the end of the day they are comedians and I, I heard somebody say this like Yo, they're comedians uh, if you don't want to be clown, don't come to their event. Like if you know there's going to be a comedian who's hosting, a comedian, if you go to a comedian uh, show, definitely be prepared for them to make fun of you in whatever shape or form. But because a lot of people are like, okay, what are the, the boundaries that comedians should have made a joke? But there's some, like I've watched comedians, I forgot his name, he makes fun of crippled people. Like he'll walk, he'll do the walk. Yeah. He'll do the <laughs> fight. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. this guy, yeah, bro, yeah, yo. he's, a, he's a Hispanic. I forgot yo. his name. Yo, but he be yo. doing like his arm like broken. Yo. Like you know how people cripple people have the arm. Yo, like, yeah, yeah. 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 There's a guy. I forgot his name. That's yo, all the bro. jokes he makes is on crippled people, yo. and there's people that make fun of fat Fire people. Rags. Try Rags is his name? No, no. Um, you want to try Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, the joke, he made the jokes on, um, on crippled kids in school. Uh, okay, uh, you um, see. Beating up on them, bro. Yeah, there's... <laughs> he made, he made, he made what when somebody had Tourette's in. Yeah, yeah. you see. <laughs> these comedians, that's, Yo. that's all they do. Yeah. So, you can't tell... Imagine a comedian, all they do, their niche is crippled people. Or their niche is, like, fat people. Or their niche is maybe... um. Uh, homosexuals so are you gonna tell them like oh yo stop because then they're basically their career is over unless like they choose a different niche but how about their best jokes was on crippled people or their best jokes was on fat people so i just think um when it going back to the uh chris walk chris rock and will smith um i i applaud him for defending his wife listen I applaud him for defending his wife, but the way he defended his wife was wrong. So, you know, he could have went backstage after he got the award or later, like, yo, I don't like how you act, like how you keep trying my wife, how you keep talking about my wife. Yo, cut the jokes out. He could have did that and handled it in, in a different manner. Because, believe it or not, let's imagine, you know, to slap somebody, that that's assault. Mm -hmm. So, Chris Rock could have pressed charges on him. Um, he probably, you know, that uh, so he probably, he have he has bond money. He would have probably got out the next day or the same day. But still, like, 
Now that's on your record. And then, so that's one. He could have, Chris Rock could have pressed charges. Two, now you have a group of people that's like, wow, this was classless. Like, you had no, because Will Smith, you know, he hasn't done nothing really wrong in his long career. You haven't heard him in the news for doing bad stuff. So now you got a bunch of people that used to respect him are like, yo, wow, this guy is like, you know, he has no class or, so now people who never saw him in that light are now saying like, yo, you have no class. Yeah, maybe there's some people that respect you more for doing it, but of course you're going to have some people who totally like, yo, you know, like longtime fans, probably now, you know, I'm done with you. I don't want to watch no more because like, that's not, you know, you have no class. So that's the two. The, uh, the third thing, it was like, I, I, um, a lot of people touched on it. You know, the Oscars is big. So a lot of white people watch it. I don't really know black people that watch the Oscars. Black people don't watch the Oscars. So um, for that to happen, you know, there's a stage mainly a lot of white people are watching. and It's like a white people award show. So when you do that, you know, white people, uh, Caucasians, they already think black people ghetto. They already think black people hood. They already think black people are dangerous. You know, a lot of white people, you know, they just think if you had dreads and golds, you crazy and you dangerous. So now Will Smith, which clean cut light skin, so now they're gonna be like, even the clean cut light skin was dangerous. Hey, light skin, I want like brown skin. Eat brown skin, but still. So for him to do that, it's like now it's like that's a represent. Will Smith is a representation of the black community. Because if you look at different careers and professions, you got the basketball actors, all uh, inven inventors, and all type of stuff. Will Smith, when it comes to acting, um, in film. TV, he represents, he's one of those people that represents the black community. So now it's like, oh, wow, we used to think Will Smith, a little innocent boy, but he did, like, you know? So I, those are all the reasons why I feel like he was wrong because like, it did, I feel like it did more damage than good. On Chris Rock, and, you know, they say right after his, um, his they, tour sold out, yeah. everything sold out, you know? And one thing, I, outside of for right or wrong, right? The moment I seen the video, because if if you study body language, um, it, that video will kind of disturb you a little bit. Because Will Smith walk up, and a lot of people, when he walk up, you know, Chris Rock has his hand, hand behind his back. He walked towards him, lift up his hand and swung and slap him. But the whole entire time, Chris Rock hand remained behind his back. And he just like, you know, like went with the slap. But studying body um, body, um, body language and even cognitive behaviors, there's no way somebody's going to come up to you, they're walking up to you. So he might have thought like, well, someone was going to grab the mic. But he walk up, then he proceeds to lift his hand and bum. You're, when that happens, even though you're not maybe block the whole slap, but there's no way your hand's going to remain behind your back and just go like this. It, it, unless there's you're a trained professional where it's like you're trained to just take hits. Because, or it could be fake. That's what I'm Make saying. We gotta look, I'm like, right. ain't no, no way. Ain't, that's ain't why ain't I, look right this is what I'm explaining. I know what you mean. So if it was real, he would have at least taken his hand from the back and try to protect it. Because your mind, okay, in your body, there, there, are, there are parts of your body that subconsciously you, your mind wants to protect. Number one place is your head. Your head area, whenever something's happening, your mind wants to protect your head. So that's why like, um, a lot of times people go like this when something's happening. Because you want to cover your head. Why? Because that's where your brain is. So subconsciously, you know that the most important part of you is in your head. So you want to protect your head. 
Of course, you want to protect some uh, your uh, your stomach and stuff like that. But the place you want to protect the most is your head. So for him not to at least raise his hand to block it or to like go like to me, it was too weird. Uh, so that's why I'm like, you know, as me, I have um, you know, background in marketing. As we know in marketing, you know, controversy sells faster. Like when you get stuff like that, people talk about it more. And when the slap happened, I bet everybody was putting it on social media, everybody was texting, and then their ratings went through the roof. And if you look, the Oscars, their ratings been falling. So it could have been some way to raise their ratings, but that's just that. You get to decide wh what it is. But yeah, so I think from the, the perspective of what I just explained, Will Smith was wrong on how he handled it. Um, Chris Rock, he is a he is a, a comedian. It's his job to make jokes. Um, so I don't hold him too much to the wrong. I just felt like Will Smith could have handled it better. Um, defending your wife, I commend him for defending his wife, but he should have defended his wife in a better way. Yeah. And that's another thing. You know, they, they said, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When the August Alcina yeah. uh, uh, thing happened, it was like, why didn't he go and, you know, run up on him like that? And I seen something else. It was like, if it was The Rock, they said he would have never slapped him. Yeah, he would have never slapped him. Because I know The Rock would have beat him. <laughs> yeah, like, no, yeah. I think The Rock would have beat him. But I think if it was The Rock that made a joke, I don't think. He would have made a joke like that. I. No, even if The Rock made a joke like oh. that, which I don't think The Rock would make a joke like that. Actually, I think The Rock would make a joke would? like that. I guess I'm wrong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but even if he would have made a joke like that, if it was no previous beef or animosity, mm -hmm. I don't think Will Smith would have went up. I think he really went up because of the previous things that they had. The previous animosity was like, man, like, you know, y'all ain't finna, y'all ain't. You ain't, you ain't gonna keep talking about my wife, and I think his wife probably said something to him like, "Yo, you know, a lot of people keep talking about the family, keep talking about us, like, yo, we in an open relationship, yo, our kids look crazy, da 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 da." You so should I, in an open relationship. I don't know. Maybe I think he was like so fed up, and it was like, okay, I'm gonna do this one to show everybody I'm not playing. I think Chris Chris Rock was his used. I think he used Chris Rock to, to Chris Rock to set an example. Like, yo, y'all ain't finna be talking about my family. My family not finna be the joke. Everybody been talking about it, but I guess yo, he got fed up. You see what I'm saying? She wrote a whole letter to Tupac. That boy is gone. She wrote it. Oh, I miss you. Me and my mom miss you and everything. We yeah. need you. I'm looking like, oh. Man, what the heck? Yeah, bro. It was a whole note, bro. Yeah. She wrote it. Their relationship different. <laughs> yeah. But I, I guess. And I think he has to have more controls happening in his home because a lot of reason people are talking about his family is due to what they're doing and what's coming out. So I think he just needs to, like, you know, sit down with his family and see, like, how they're going to handle this. And, like, I know sometimes when you get to, like, level 10, in the moment you can't, like, sometimes you get out of control. But still, I think he was just fed up. Like, that result, it was not even about Chris Rock. I think he was just so fed up on how people just making fun of his family. It was like, nah, man. I think he's only him. They ain't making fun of his family. No, they making fun of him, too. No, they only making fun of Will Smith, only. Oh, because like his, yeah, that because, too. Because his family is, like, breaking him down. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, because he's the head and he's the most influential. You see the red table? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kid? That was, like... Like it was a minute, like he said he planned uh for three years, he planned for something for three years for his wife's fortieth birthday. Yeah. And then he was about to say like that was just for his ego and stuff. Not for, it was like mainly for him, not for his wife. I'm looking oh, like wow. who said that? His wife. Oh wow. Hey, he just need to get better control of his family. Yeah, I'm thinking like you know when a woman turn forty, like they they, they feel like they're old. Yeah. That makes you like like, oh you still the best and everything. She's like, nah, this is all about you. Wow. Like he had a whole documentary for her and stuff, like like we said, um, when you want a special someone or your partner, you want to defend your partner. 
when someone else is attacking your partner, if you're in a relationship, you want to defend them, but you don't. You got to always make sure what, at at what cause you're defending them. You don't want to put your life in danger. You don't want to put other people's life in danger, and not just your. Yo, <laughs> no, I'm telling you, he would have done a two part. Not just, what? not just <laughs> physically, but you want to protect your character. You want to be careful. So there are better ways. Talking it out, going backstage. We don't always have to make everything a clown act where it's in front of everybody. Like, let's have better emotional intelligence. With emotional intelligence is very important. And, you know, like you said, he's very overwhelmed. Um, he's very overwhelmed. So if any, if you're overwhelmed, seek counseling. And there was a great point. He said Denzel had told him, like, you know, at your highest point, um, that's when the devil will come at you. It's something like that. I'm butchering um, what he said, but it's true. Sometimes at, at your highest point, the devil will come for you. Like, this was his first Oscars. And look, you know, so you just got to be on point. So every little every little thing that's happening in your life is practice. So when you do get on those big stages, when you do get to the mountaintop, like whatever you've been doing, if it's going to show at the mountaintop even more. So, you know, just let's all keep him in prayer. And um, yeah, man, because, you know, he is an icon. But this was a discussion. I want to ask you, comment down below. Who do you feel was wrong? Or do you think anyone was wrong? Was it Will Smith? Was it Chris Rock? Hey, comment down below. That's the power question of the day. Who was wrong? And a little side note, you could comment. If it was you, how would you have handled this situation? If you was in Will Smith's shoes, how would you handle that situation? That's what I really want to know. How would you do it? Well, this was another discussion with the Miss Knows organization. We are out.